Hello, oh this is TJ with TJFree.com. No, I'm kidding. This this is Pizza Loving Nerd, and I'm going to start a new series where I show cool free open source software that you can download. So, um, today I'm showing off five cool paint programs, um, for Windows, Mac, and Linux. So, um, all five of these work on Windows and Linux, and, um, all of these except for um, I believe MT Paint work on, um, on Mac. So, let's start with Tux Paint. So, this is a painting app for kids. It's got cool sound effects. Let me turn on sound really quickly because I accidentally disabled it. Boom. So, as you can see, it's got cool sound effects. Um, it's got cool, di it's got different brushes. It's got, um, I like the rounder ones. This. Um, what else? It's got cool shapes um, and stuff. You can add some text, a label. Um, you can add magic. Pretty cool. An eraser, image, and I can open and save them. Now, it's pretty cool. The only problem is it's kind of made for, it's kind of childish. The, so, and the noises might get annoying. And it saves the images in a hidden directory, your home folder, which you might not want. You might want to be able to save your images to use online or something. So, yeah, that's Tuxpay. <laughs> um, okay, so the next thing we'll, I'll be showing you is Pinta. So... It is just a basic image editor right here. Um, I can edit stuff. Um, yeah, pretty basic. I accidentally do control A. Boom. Pretty basic image editor. It's probably my favorite on this list because it's got like a Microsoft Paint vibe to it. I'm Microsoft Paint is I think is a really good program. So. Um, it's like Microsoft Pay, except it's a little bit more advanced. The only issues with it is, one, it's not very advanced compared to, you know, other paint applications. And two, um, it's, it, um, doesn't, um, it doesn't work very well on, um, some darker GDK themes. As you can see, I'm using a dark GDK theme, and right here, it's got white with dark text, and it's kind of hard to read, and it doesn't match with the theme. But it reminds me of GIMP a lot, because it has your layers, kind of like GIMP and history, kind of like GIMP. So it's like GIMP, but for painting. It's like Also like Microsoft Paint, but a little bit better. So yeah, that was Pinta. Next thing I'll be showing is Krita. So, this is a fork of GIMP made by the KDE team, um, and I love it. So, this is more for the advanced painters. It supports welcome tablets and stuff. Um, let's see. So, this is what I'd use if you're a digital artist. Um, so, if you're a digital artist, this is the one. It's got realistic watercolor. Um, brushes and stuff which one are those because i know it has realistic watercolor brushes i can't remember how to get them though i think i might be able to do this yeah there it goes see if i make it like a combination of red and stuff i can do this and this got a smudge tool i can use for um i don't know it just has a Smudge tool you can use for mixing. Um, hold on. It is. Uh. Okay, I can't actually. Um, okay, sorry about this. I haven't used this program in forever, but it does have realistic brush painting. I can't remember how to get it. And you can use down there, but you can also right click to get your brushes. Looks nice on GDK and QT because it's a KDE app. Uh, what else? Yeah, it's uh, probably the best painter you can get. Um, these ones are. 
Um, and it's super customizable, by the way. It's nice. Yeah. Anyways, that's Krita. Okay, so for number, the next one is my paint. So my paint is probably the most basic painting app here, unless other than um, what's it called? Um, I'm trying to think of the name Tux Paint. So, um, it's nice looking. You can get your brushes right here. Let's do my set three. Why not? Nice looking. Um. One of my complaints, though, is it's kind of, kind of a smaller brush, and um, it's kind of hard to um, kind of a hard interface to start off with. So, um, where's brush? You should be. You can use F and D to increase and decrease the brush size. So let's make it bigger. Well, not that big. Not that big, but there, that big is about good. So, yeah, it's a nice simple painting app. It's simple, yet in it can, and it's comparable to Krita in functionality because of all the brushes and stuff. Not as customizable as Krita, but whatever. Um, it also has realistic watercolor, so just like Krita. So this one, I actually know how to use it. Let's do some watercolor here and then color. Add a little more watercolor here. Pink. There. So, yeah. This is another good one for digital artists. So, yeah. Now, the last painting application is MT Paint. So, this, just like um, the other one, I can't remember what that was. The one I said has the MS Paint 5. This one has an older MS Paint. So, the color switcher is nowhere modern it's just a random thing and then it has pixels and stuff but doesn't really have brushes so i'd say this is good for wine art so i can draw something pixels and stuff and then fill it in fill it in great for wine art i must say um it has gradient support and it reminds me from back in the 90s like these gradients are nowhere not modern um, for gradients, I recommend Krita. It's kind of an older program, so yeah, the problem, slight problem with it, but the um, yeah, and um, let's see, be a way to the brush bigger. Let's see, use brush. Here it is. So here's where you choose your brushes. These are all pixely, so if you're planning on using vector art, there's no way. But the nice thing is it makes line art easy. So otherwise, it's not a very modern program at all. Matter of fact, if you want a modern program, I would not give this one a go. That's how much it's not modern. But if it's, it might be what you're looking for. So I decided to include it. Um, this list wasn't in a particular order. If it was, this would be last, honestly. But let's see, I can um get green. So yeah. And then we can add a thing. This one doesn't work as good as Linard, but it's alright. So yeah. Anyways, that was my five paint programs for Linux, Mac, and Windows. So hope you enjoyed. Bye bye.